In Delta State, more groups and individuals are still calling on organizers to reconsider and shelve the protest. Some groups in Delta have also lent their voices asking youths from the region to shun the ongoing protest. Ikena Meche has details and will return with the business news. In Asaba, the state capital, businesses were grounded on the first day of the protest. Security personnel patrolled the city. Initially, there were no protesters. Later, a protester emerged at the summit's junction. I don't know if you've been to the market lately. The price of everything is rising. At the Itabua roundabout, protesters were two, then grew in numbers as they marched towards the government house. Stopped by security agencies, leading to a standoff. After a failed attempt to continue, they returned to Itabua, chanting solidarity songs. Everyone here is a Nigerian sure. that has been crying since the day they were born. Yeah. Yeah. I beg they help us, so we were doing peaceful protests. Please, we are begging for the federal government to help us, help the Nigerians. The poor are crying. A second attempt to leave was met with tear gas from the police. The state police commissioner defended his men's actions, stating that the protest was peaceful. So our appeal is simply to the organizers and to the protesters, abide by the rules, play by the laws of the land, and converge in a place and ensure that your protest, which is constitutionally guaranteed, remains peaceful. In Ugele, protesters gathered in the Towodo Junction, adding to the statewide demonstration. In Wari, there was no protest, but sapley experienced protests. Recall that some groups, the Delta State Ethnic Nationalities Youth Leaders Forum and the second and third phase presidential amnesty program chairman had called on youths to shave the nationwide protests. Collectively, as leaders of the various ethnic nationalities in Delta States, we find reasons to do a different pathway other than protests in the immediate. It is an attempt some politicians who could not make it in the 2023 general election. So therefore, we are pulling out as ex agitators Or have leaders that we look upon have given order that no any son of Niger Delta should be part of this protest. That's why you are seeing the crowds. We are saying no for the protest. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.